Hey everyone, very exciting video today. I'm going to be doing, and I know I haven't done one of these in a while, but a character haircut. So I'm going to be doing Joel from the amazing show on HBO Max, The Last of Us. Now, if you want to browse my channel, or even just search The Last of Us, The Salon Guy, I actually have done a few of the characters from the video game a number of years ago. So you can actually check those out and uh, they're really, really cool. But since the show came out, which I have started watching, it's an amazing show, also an amazing video game too. If you're really interested in that, you have to play the video game. Um, the, I mean, I've played all of them so far and uh, it's <laughs> what a video game. But today I'm going to be doing the character Joel, Joel Miller played by um, Pedro Pascal and I'm literally an amazing actor and uh, I'm going to be doing the haircut today. So I'm ready to get started. Let's do it. All right, so first things first is his hair uh, in the show kind of goes off of a somewhat side part this way, kind of a messy side part, but it goes over this way going left to right. So starting off, what I'm gonna do, and I picked this mannequin because a lot of the hair was already cut previously from another haircut. So it's very similar as far as the lengths go already with this but I just wanna go over some of, the, of the, the back and the shape. So the shape is somewhat of a messy, kinda of like standard haircut, but it's got a lot of texture to it. So it's not just so perfect, right? And obviously it's because he's like, you know, the character in the show, he's not just standing around. There's a lot of action going on. So what I like to do for that is I'll, I basically just like to do some scissor over comb like this, and I'm holding the hair out probably about to where it's an inch or so, inch and a half, maybe the most from the head like this. And the reason I'm doing this horizontally is because I'm trying to get an even haircut and a very, very balanced shape throughout the back. And I wanna make sure that the hair is gonna look, you know, good while it's quote unquote messed up, all right? And that's the whole point of this. So this is a very kind of wearable haircut for anyone just cause, you know, he's uh, playing a character in a, in a, in a TV show um, and in the video game where it's, you know, a lot of action fighting off monsters and creatures and, you know, scavenging throughout the woods and, uh, you know, areas and buildings. I mean, you can't, you can still wear it day to day. The thing is that it's just a little bit more textured back here. And it's not just like a skin fade or anything like that. So I'm creating more of a horizontal shape like this to be able to see and have full control over how I'm seeing the hair coming straight out from the head this way, all right? And that's gonna give me a good indication, one, that it's even, we're doing an even haircut, but it's also gonna allow me to kind of create some added volume um, throughout the back here so that when you do mess it up, right, it's gonna have a lot more shape and texture to it, and that's why I'm doing it this way, all right? So now what I'm going to do is, as we go through the back here, there comes a time where you have to actually blend in this throughout the top and through here. So the top is much shorter than this. All right, so this is a good opportunity. I'm just gonna lower this mannequin head a little bit here. It's a good opportunity to blend in and cut this area a bit shorter in through here. So now I'm just holding the hair straight out from the head like so. And I know it seems like I'm not cutting off much right in through here, but as we go towards the top of the head right here, you're gonna see that's where we're getting shorter and shorter. Now, if you do have some sort of calic or any sort of areas where the hair does stick up in through this area, it is best to leave it a bit longer so that the weight of the hair will actually keep that, that calic a bit tame. And yes, I know, I apologize, I'm wearing, once again, a black shirt and I'm cutting hair that's on the darker side. So I'll try to stay as clear as I possibly can away from this so I'm not, there's a, there's, so you can see what I'm doing, okay? Now, the, the key to this is as it's being pulled out from the head, I'm making sure that everything is very, very kind of even and balanced, right? I'm not looking for any sort of disconnection. I'm not looking for any sort of crazy, weird shapes, you know, no insane angles. It's a very, very, I would say, basic standard type haircut, but I'm making sure that it can be moved around and messed up very, very easily uh, to kind of 
match up the character in the show. So if you're doing any sort of cosplay stuff, you know, and you want to get your hair cut like this, you can definitely just follow along this tutorial, or you can just take pictures of the haircut and show it to, you know, an individual who's gonna be cutting your hair. So once again, I'm just gonna lower this a bit here, and now is where I'm transitioning into this, and that's where you can see it's a bit longer. Let's actually get a little closer. You can see the hair is longer right in through here. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually gonna take a decent amount of that hair off, and we're gonna work our way forwards this way. So this is where we're leaving a lot of this behind now because we've already cut it, but we're doing kind of two things in one shot. We're actually blending and connecting this part into the top, um, but we're also, you know, cutting the length off. So we're creating our shape into here, all right? And once again, this is a little bit shorter, like compared to how it has its hair in the, in the show. So now that the haircut is blended from here into here, it's now time to start working throughout the top here. And as you can see, I'm going through this relatively quickly, but here's how I'm gonna cut this top section. All right, I'm gonna hold this straight up and you're gonna see that there's gonna be a guide from that previous section. So now that we already blended in everything from the back, we can now work our way forwards, all right? So now I'm gonna just cut horizontally and I'm trying to stand out of the way. That's why I have a weird arm, uh, angle. I'm trying to stand out of the way so you can see. And literally all I'm doing is just cutting horizontally straight across. And I'm, if you notice, I'm sticking right within this one section here. Because when you're cutting hair and it's all about the top, the corners, and the sides. You have to break it down into three different kind of shapes and categories. The top, the corner, and the sides. And if you do this, you'll be able to stay a lot more balanced and even while you're cutting hair. So if you're doing this at home, if you are a professional, uh, doesn't matter. This is how I cut hair and I've been cutting hair for a long time. It just helps you stay very, very, very organized while you're cutting. So you understand that this is the top. Don't start going from here to here to here, bouncing around, because it's really gonna risk ruining and messing up the shape, right, and the balance. So as we get to the top here, or the very, very front, I'm still maintaining that same uh, angle, right, that same shape. And what's gonna happen is once you get to the very, very front, you're gonna see that there's gonna be less and less hair in this one section. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of combing the hair a little bit forward this way because the hair grows out from the head, right? It doesn't grow back this way, it grows out from the head. So I'm just gonna kind of extend this out a little bit Right, and then usually what happens is this ends up softening this way too much in the front here. So I'm gonna come back one and, and shorten this in the front uh, in, a, in a later period. So now it's time to work on the corners. All right, and this is the unique part right here. I'm gonna stand over here. So now we're in the corner area of the head. Yes, I'm cutting off these corners because I'm simply just rounding the shape out in through here. To me, that grows out the best it also makes the hair lay the most natural, in my opinion, as someone who's been cutting hair for over 25 years or so. Uh, I just feel like it's, to me, a much better shape. I know a lot of times people will go very, very square in through here. I personally just don't cut that way. All right, so let's raise this up here. Now it's time to go into the sides, all right? So now what we're gonna do is hold this straight out. Now again, it's not really super, super short throughout the sides. He does have a little bit of length. Uh, I'm cutting this probably a little more than finger length away from the head, as you can see. So we're probably leaving it a good, I don't know, two inches or so from the head in throughout the sides here. And I'm basically just connecting all of this down into the uh, shape. So it's literally coming from the top all the way down to here. And now what that's done, it's allowed me to have a little bit of length and texture throughout here. Once again, like I mentioned, uh, I'm not trying to go super short throughout the sides here. I'm just trying to create a messy, but also neat kind of look. Around the ear, I'm just gonna go in and do some point cutting. Uh, I'm not looking to go with you know a trimmer or clippers around here. I'm just really trying to keep it somewhat soft and natural right through here. Now I'm going to just hold this out horizontally to check the balance, which I did throughout the back. And when you hold hair out horizontally, what that does is it basically just 
shows you what's going on section by section or you know step by step or layer by layer and it really helps you kind of balance everything out uh, and again i've mentioned before that this is somewhat of a standard kind of normal haircut however what i'm trying to create is a messy normal right i'm trying to create some shape into here so that it's not just going to be like you know like a, a, a number two or number three guard with the clippers all right so we did the top here now it's time to come into this corner and through here on the opposite side notice how i'm standing in the exact same position uh what i'm doing now is i'm i'm just cutting upwards this way okay I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm not overreaching on the other side. I just literally turn the head to face me. And now I'm actually in a position where my body is still comfortable, right? I'm not, a lot of people don't just reach over this way and stretch themselves out to a point where they start to have, you know, serious back pains and it's painful. I learned my lesson years ago, all right? So here we go. Now we're cutting the sides. And once again, it's just about a little more than a finger's length out from the head and I'm cutting upwards now. The key to this, and I know a lot of you want to you know, figure out, oh, what do I say to my barber? Or what do I say to my hairstylist? I mean, the easiest thing is really just to show photographs of the, the look that you want. I mean, that's what it comes down to, is, is, is if there's a hairstyle you like, take a screen grab, take a download a photo on Google or whatever it is, and just show them, right? Just show them. And this is a haircut where it's not like that difficult to duplicate. Uh, however, it's, it's what goes into the haircut is what makes it better, right? If somebody's just going to take like, you know, a number five guard or a number six guard with clippers and just buzz the whole thing and not even put much ton of customization or effort into it, that's where the problem is going to happen. All right. So I mentioned before that he kind of has a little bit of a, a side part going over this way. And now let's go to the front here. As you can see, there's a lot of excess length that we need to trim up right in through here. And this is also going to thicken up and strengthen that uh, line right in through here, okay? Or the, the foundation of the haircut. Here's the corner. And now you can see everything is pretty much connected and blended. So now when you bring this back, you can see it's starting to look more like Joel's haircut. So with this area in through here, I'm just going to go in here and just blend this a little bit more. And some of this is from, yes, the previous haircut. So I'm just gonna do some patch up work right through here um, once again. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with the, with the comb here and my shears, and I'm actually holding the hair horizontally, and I'm just gonna point cut, right? I'm just gonna point cut a whole bunch of, of hair into here. I'm gonna bring this section over. You can see that one little long piece right there. We need to cut that. And, and what this is gonna do, it's gonna allow me to just kind of check on the haircut and make sure it's all balanced. Now, I feel this is a little bit heavy here, and here's what I'm gonna do. And this is the key magic to this part. Now, as you can see, turning this way, look at all that excess hair right through here. Well, guess what? That's coming off. So that's what's gonna help connect and blend this area right throughout the front so it's not so heavy. And this is great if you're working on, you know, cutting bangs on somebody or cutting a fringe or trying to figure out like why hair is so heavy. And look, you see the hair grows out this way. Obviously it's a mannequin, but this is stitched. This is, first of all, this is human hair. This is 100% human hair, but it's stitched to kind of duplicate or replicate humans as much as possible. So that's why I'm being very thorough and I'm, I'm holding this out in so many different angles. And, and this is the difference between getting, you know, a haircut in 15 minutes when you're paying hardly any money compared to something like this, where even if it's a mannequin, I'm still putting in a lot of effort and time and making sure this comes out really, really nice. So once again, I'm just gonna trim this up here. This is from the previous haircut where the sideburns were a bit shorter. So I'm just gonna kind of taper this a little bit. And now once again, I'm going to go in and point cut horizontally because I'm looking for a, a, a kind of a volumizing texture in through here, right? I'm not trying to remove weight, I'm trying to actually like, even though texturizing does kind of soften, I'm trying to build some volume and some texture through here just by the way I'm cutting. And, and this is a great technique uh, if you're looking to kind of add a little bit of volume and texture to your hair, right? And the way I'm doing it horizontally is building, right? It's building the weight 
uh, and the structure. If I was cutting it vertically or removing some weight, then that would be a different story. So again, I'm just trying to add some, some really cool uh, movement to this. So again, when it's messy, it still looks like it's a good haircut. And then lastly, I'm gonna do my magical kind of texturizing uh, technique and, and do this at your own risk, but I just go in and I will just simply point cut like this, freehanding. I've been doing this for many, many years. Just be careful when you're doing this um, because it's, you know, do it at your own risk. So there, as you can see, uh, now as this is pretty much drying, it's almost pretty much identical to Joel's hair. Uh, and this is, this is pretty much it. So now what do we do with styling? So I'm gonna use my Tidal Wave product right here. It's my number one seller. This is available on Amazon. It's available on my website. You can go to shop.thesalonguy.com. If you get it from me directly, you use code YouTube20, you get 20% off, or you can buy it directly on Amazon. Just search Tidal Wave The Salon Guy and you'll see it. But I'm gonna give, let me see. So one, two, three, I would say four, five spritzes, right? Um, and it's really, just about getting that product in the hair because what I want to do right now is create kind of a messy texture, okay? And if you do this, you will see some hair kind of coming off uh, because of the texturizing. So don't freak out if you see, you know, chunks of hair coming off um, on your hand because of how we uh, cut this. So now it's time for the blow dry. This is all about using your hands. Uh, there's no sort of any, you know, crazy brushes or anything like that. I would say just use your hand and blow dry it like how I'm gonna do it right now. So I'm just gonna blow dry this all kind of forward this way, a little bit back to get some of the hair off here. But I'm really just trying to use my hands like this to add some texture and, and messiness as, in, as you can see. It's all about creating that shape and because of the ionic technology in my blow dryer here, which I do sell on my website, it's actually blow drying the hair much quicker than, than normal. And this is actually on the low speed setting. All right, so here we go. Adding some texture right in through here in the front. And now, even though it looks like it's a perfect haircut, what I wanna do is actually try to mess this up a little bit more like this to create some more of a messier, um, and this is where the volumizing uh, comes in. The volumizing kind of texture comes in here uh, like I was building before. So you're able to kind of just get that uh, messiness in through here, that messy look, all right? And again, his hair is, you know, there's, there's parts in the show where it's, you know, a little more tame than this, not so messy. But at the same time, there's also ones where, you know, you see it a little more, uh, accentuated with the side part coming over this way, but more, okay? But let's just work this down a little bit. It's all about just creating that, that volume, that look, that messy texture in through here, right? And a lot of times it's coming kind of like down towards the face this way. But uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think this came out pretty awesome. So as you can see through here, once again, just to break it down, uh, cut this mostly horizontally throughout the back. The length in through here is probably a good, I'd say, inch, right? That inch and a half in through here, two inches. The whole top, I would say, is about two inches long, two and a half the most. And um, the sides here are probably, even down here, a little bit shorter, three quarters of an inch. But this is all about inch and a half, and then slightly longer on the top to about two and a half inches like this. But you're able to go in there and add some lift and some texture to it. Uh, with it with it looking uh, pretty pretty solid here. So here we go again. You can mess this up in the front if you want to have it more down in your face. You can just kind of mess it up a little, add some texture like this, right? To have a little more of a messy look in through here. You can bring this side down a bit, you know, and just create like that that messier texture through here. I know I keep using the same darn words over and over again, but this is it. So let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this. And lastly. If you wanna see more of these, you wanna go back to my, my roots of how I created YouTube videos many, many years ago of doing character haircuts or sports players or you know, influencers, whatever it is, let me know. I really need your feedback. I'm always trying to experiment on videos. Some do really well, some are just duds. I put so much time and effort into these videos and like, 
they get hardly get any views anymore. So if you think that I should go back to doing stuff like this, and we'll see from this video, hopefully it gets thousands and thousands of views, but if you wanna see more stuff like this, let me know, let me know in the comments below who you want me to do again, and uh, hopefully I can accommodate your request. So thank you for watching. Use code YouTube20, shop.thesalonga.com. I'll see you soon.